a good one. Barely hooked. Stay down. That's what we need. Stay with me. God! Woo! Son of a gun, look at that. I'm talking about skin hook. Shaking like a leaf. I don't get tore up. That right there will tear you up. Here we are at the end of the second day here at Bassmaster Lead on Harris Chain. You know, today was a slower day for me. I didn't catch near as many fish. I got on something a little extra today that may produce later in the week. We caught some on moving baits, caught some dragging today. It just took a little bit of everything to get our limit today, but stay tuned. It's going to be a great show. We're going to catch them tomorrow. And Buddy Gross is your brand new leader. <laughs> he is going to do it, but he's the only guy ahead of you right now, Buddy. How you feeling here at halfway point of this tournament? I mean, you got this group of anglers but like this behind you, you're never safe, you know, and I've been having to struggle to get to the limit yesterday, so we're just going to go fishing and see what happens. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. We're going to see you all day long on Bassmaster Live. So point is disappointing, man. Two days in a row. I'm making off. I'm sorry, point. I'll take it all back. Thank you, bro. There's one. Thank you, Lord. You know, they ain't big, but we gotta start somewhere. Thank you, Lord. It's a big one and I barely got it hooked. I'm going to try it. I shouldn't have both flipped it, but I just did heck with it. Oh, we ain't done that yet. Hey, we got four more. That's a limit. Look at this. They ain't black bone fit. I'm going to tell you something about this place right here, and I mean this in the bottom. I had this place marked three years ago because I thought there'd be fish on it because it drops off right here and the shell bed's on it. I've never caught a fish here until this tournament. Not even in practice did I ever catch a fish here, just till this tournament. That's pretty sweet right there. They're schooling. That joker loses that thing, he's gonna be lightweight. Eating. Fat little dude. Still grass though. That's what I tore up whenever that fish hit it, it got down in it and I could feel it ripping it up. But the good thing is, you see how crispy and green it is? Most of it on the lake right now is like that other color. It says it's got the moss, the black. As long as it's that good crispy green, they love it. Feels like a piece of... I don't know if it'll color or not. Made a small pull. Thank you, Lord. 
Very small coil, just ounces. We made the top 10 right where I want to be. I got all these guys right where I want them. Now we got to catch them. I like being a little bit behind. It pushes me harder. I feel good about today. I think they might be in trouble. We're not sure if Buddy Gross went fishing this morning because we haven't heard a word. And I got my mind set on about 30. That's our goal today. If we run into them, it don't take long. It's a good one, I think. Man, it ain't four, but I'll take it. Maybe. Come here. Ho, ho, ho. It's a good start. Right where I told you they was, oh, they're just on the break. Thank you, Lord. It's the first one on Carolina rig this week. Hopefully it puts some fish in the boat. That new Z-worm is a bad dude. Z-crawl worm. That's pretty good. <laughs> Little chunk. Thank you, Lord. Hang on. I'm going to keep riding for a minute. Whoa! Lord! We're going to put her on the big side. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Thank you, Lord. I, I tear up my line with a Carolina rig all the time. I tried something new. I put a new little bobber on this thing to try to keep it from tearing my line up. And I think I fixed it because it's not tearing it up. This is something new right here. See, I'm telling you, they're doing something weird. See, it's on the outside. It's like double bumping. I, I don't know if I'm running into them and they're running my line. That's something weird going on right there now. See how that thing's... That's some weird stuff right there. Thank you, Lord. I just want to see what'll happen. I know I'm getting bit. Everybody's going to think, what is he doing? But... I'd much rather catch them on that plane right there. <sighs> Telling you, there's some big ones that's hanging over here to the right, and I can't get bit over. 20, 40, 60, they're 80 feet away, but they're just going left and right. They're going right down this break, and they're swimming. They're not sitting still. So that's, that's a pretty good size one right there, but they're all moving. That white dot right there, is probably, see that moved over here this time? Boat's not moving. That's how many they're just coming through. Uh oh. Thank you, Lord. That was on the Texas rig. My Carolina rig is just a three quarter ounce weight with a five out owner hook. And I'm putting some little rubber stops on the top side of my Carolina rig to keep it from chafing my line. And it seems to be working because I, I break a lot of fish off Carolina rig. I always have all my life. Or a bobber stop or anything down there below it and it keeps me from messing my line up so bad. Best thing you can do with your hook, any hook you pick out, just make sure where your line tie is, it's not even with your needle points. You need it to be halfway in and you just get a better hook up.
Won't you look? I told you they'd eat that swim bait and I knew it'd be a bigger one. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Them boys would better catch them today because that's a good fish and we just put one bigger in the box, boys. My swim bait addiction started with old, you know, just deep fishing. I mean, it's always a heavy weight, head big, head deep. And you set the hook on them deep ones and the rod don't give and you just, I mean, uh, growing up on Chicken Mock Gunners, well, I had got to catch a lot of big fish in my life. But the funnest bite is a swim bait bite. If I don't catch another one, you done a good job, Bubba. I hope it's got it good, because it might cool. Wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I ain't sure how to get you. Hold up. Just don't get it in me. <clears throat> Lordy mercy. Guys, we still ain't done a whole lot of moving. We're just kind of going up and down this break. I'm still seeing some fish. We ain't caught one in about 15 minutes. We're still catching some three and a half. I'm just gonna give it a little bit longer. Golly. Thank you, Lord. Golly, that's my dead heat. We can just catch this one big one I feel real good about today. It ain't gonna be a real big one. I mean, we just, we got a solid bag. Just need a good one. Golly, bum. I think that was a pretty good fish. I think that was, I couldn't even really. Not what you want to do on the last day of a Bassmaster Elite event. <laughs> I'd like to win, I ain't gonna lie. And blue trophies are hard to come by. It wasn't playing, it seen it, it wanted it, it left with it. I know that one's bigger. <laughs> Surely that one's bigger. Three ninety. That's a good fish, guys. All we gotta do is have one of them three pounders turn into a six pounder. I might do a break dance right here for you. I might, I used to could do the windmill, been a long time. A little warmer, I could do a backflip off here though, for sure. I wouldn't even try it. I don't think I'd do the worm no more. You're just trying to make gold. And when you set it, when you get to the third next goal, you gotta go to the next one. You know, you just gotta keep on making gold. I mean, I hope I go in and I've won and I've said, well, I can't believe I stressed out, but you just never know in this game. You just never know. I don't think what I've got's enough to win. I'm three pounds behind. That means nobody caught 20 pounds that was ahead of me. I find that hard to believe that didn't happen. I tried, bub. Lord, I thank you for a great day, a great week, a great tournament.
Marathon Peak Performance.